Hello children good morning children you all like to listen to stories isn't it when you were in kindergarten that is your kg class your teachers told you many stories like the lion and the mouse the thirsty crow the hare and the tortoise and many more you know children each of these stories have a moral or a lesson for behavior they teaches us what is right and what is wrong now today children we are going to learn a new term which is used for short stories and that is fables so what are fables fables are short stories that have a moral or message for us fables mostly have animal characters they think and act like human beings fables were first told by a wise person called aesop here there are few examples of fables like the lion and the mouse the thirsty crow the hare and the tortoise and in this way there are many many examples of fables which you already know okay all these fables were first told by a wise person called aesop so let us learn more about aesop who was aesop it is believed that many of the fables were first told by a wise person called aesop aesop lived hundreds of years ago in a country called greece his stories became so popular that many people passed them on from generation to generation many of the proverbs and sayings that we use today are based on such fables so today we are going to study one of such well known fable and its name is the stag at the pool one day a beautiful stag came to a pool of clear water what is the meaning of stag stag means a male deer as he went down to drink he saw his own reflection reflection means children his own image as he bent down he saw his own image in the water and when he saw his image he was delighted with what he saw he was very happy with his own reflection instead of drinking water he kept looking at his own reflection how handsome i look he said to himself how beautiful are these curving antlers children what are antlers you know antlers are the horns on the head of the stag so he was very much proud of his antlers and he exclaimed how they add to my beauty how graceful they look okay so he was very very happy with the antlers he was very proud with it then he moved nearer and saw his legs reflected in the pool and when he saw his the reflection of the leg he said he was quite disgusted look at my legs who oh, they are so ugly all spindly with small feet how i wish the nature had given me legs worthy of my stately antlers okay so the stag was unhappy with his legs as his legs were spindly what is the meaning of spindly spindly means they were very long and thin so he disliked his leg okay and he prayed to god that hope i would have the same stately legs to just like my antlers stately means grand as he was brooding in this way the stag heard an arrow going swish across the pool at the same time he pick up the scent of hunters so who are there there are hunters in the forest now with a quick turn he bounded away bounded away he ran away his legs carried him swiftly into the forest so very fast he ran into the forest 
the hunters were hot on his trail. Hot on his trail, this phrase means children, they were very close to him. They were about to catch him. Okay. The hunters were very, very close to him. Soon the stag left the hunters far behind. But suddenly, without realizing it, he walked into a thicket. So what is thicket, children? Thicket means where many trees, bushes, etc. grow close together and they form a thicket. There were trees with strong branches growing close together. Oh, so sad about him. And alas, the same antlers of which he was so proud got caught into the thick growth of the thicket. So sad about him. The stag tried to shake himself free, but the more he struggled, the more entangled his antlers got in the branches. Once again, the stag could hear the hunters drawing close and grew afraid. At last, with great difficulty, he managed to free his antlers and finally he bounded away. He ran away. He said to himself, I realize now that my ugly feet saved my life. I was so proud of these handsome antlers, but they would have been the cause of my death today. Very often we dislike the very things that are most useful to us. So what is the moral of the story children? We should not dislike any of our body parts, okay? Whether they are good or they are bad, each of our body organs are useful to us in some or the other way. So always you should love God's creation. We should not hate anything. So through this story, we have learned many things like all that glitters is not gold means though his antlers look very beautiful but at the time of the difficulty who helped him yes obviously his feet has helped him isn't it and we also learn that utility is more important than beauty to utilize the thing, to use the thing, to use your brain. Okay, you should use your brain, you should use your heart, you should use, means you should do complete hard work. That is more important than outward beauty. So, I think so, we have learned many things from this story, isn't it? So, come on children, let us revise the meanings of all the new words which we had learned today. The first meaning is stag. What is stag? Stag is a male deer. The second, antlers. What are antlers? Antlers are a branchy and bony structure on the head of a male deer. Spindly. Spindly means very long and thin. How were his legs? They were long and thin, isn't it? Brooding. Brooding means thinking sadly for a long time. Thicket. Thicket means when many trees and bushes grow close together. Thank you.